We're rolling, we're rolling, we're rolling. All good in the hood. Um, a five by five would be sweet if you guys can um, let us know and we can get this show on the road. Um, this is off the back of many emails and messages, etc. And it's it's high time. We talked about this, about the compliance thing. So um, thank you for that um, biased response. <laughs> thank you, Time Lord, as well. Cheers, honey. Right, good. So everyone can see and hear me. That's the most important thing because without that, it just ain't worth doing anything. We'll have to cancel it. So that's good. Right, okay. Um, won't comply. Do you comply? Do you um, have a history of doing as you're told? Were you the, the black sheep in the family? Were you the guy or girl who was at school and certain things was just bored with it? The teacher, the subject, just didn't want to take part. Um, there's there's a history of this going back to when we were kids. And it does seem like certain groups of people have literally walked that path throughout their en entire life, pretty much. We just won't do as they're freaking told. It's crazy. It just seems to be how it is. And there seems to be more and more people at last saying, no, I'm not going to put up with that nonsense anymore. Just not going to have it. It's just not right. I don't care. It's um the way I see it, you know, we are just human beings on planet Earth. That's it. Who the hell has a right to tell us what we can and can't do? Now, I do understand, don't get me wrong, I do understand we do need some sort of control within society because if we didn't have any police, it would just be chaos. It would be um, the baddest, meanest, nastiest people just get whatever they want. OK, so there is some degree of um, order which is needed. OK, because honestly, if you took away all of the police. It would just be a whole different scenario. But my my gripe with all of this is these draconian laws and rules which are just coming out so thick and fast. And that's another thing since 2020. How many of you watching right now have felt that things seem to be moving so fast now? This law's just come out. That rule's come out. You're not allowed to do this. Now we're changing it to this. This has gone up. This is changing. It's so freaking much going on. And what that's doing is just adding and contributing onto stress. We're going to talk about antidepressants in a minute. That's going to blow your mind. I don't think you'd better get your head around it. There's loads of stuff. So I would urge you guys to stay to the end of this live stream. We have got all sorts of things going on, which we need to talk about right here. Right now, we've got 309 already in here in three minutes. It's pretty damn good because considering there was no real notice, half an hour. So this is good, guys. So you guys are getting notified. And some of you are really helping by sharing these videos. I'm not joking. If you could hit the thumbs up real quick, come out of the chat, go in there and go, it's done. You don't want to worry about it. It really helps get the notifications out there. People can join in in the chat when the thumbs up gets hit. And of course, sharing the link onto um, Facebook, um, WhatsApp, Twitter, all that sort of stuff, it helps. So one thing which, well, thank you, Donald. That's awesome. Wow, you guys are very beautiful. Thank you very much. I done a video some time ago um, and I remember recording it in my car and I was saying, start saying no. And I just thought I'll put it out there based upon what I've, been feeling since all that bullshit in 2020 okay and the response was quite i didn't expect it. over 30,000 people watched that video i was like wow really so i've had loads of messages since then and that was nearly a year ago i've done that video but there does seem to be a rise in people which are just not complying anymore all right we're going to go through lots of things and i'd love to hear um, your guys input um, regarding the things that I'm saying in the live chat, if you're watching the replay, um, that would help in the comment section as well. So I'm going to come out of the chat um, right now because um, it does distract me. Um, if there is anyone, any questions or any um, super chats, which I can reply to, I'll do that at the end. It just breaks my flow. So I apologize that I'm not um, jumping on it like I usually do. Um, I'm trying different things. I'm just going to drag that over here 
um i need to make sure that it's gone out on the other channels i've got this um linked up to odyssey and rumble and all of that sort of stuff anyway right okay start saying no i feel that the times that we're in right now we really do need to start sticking up for ourselves why because like i've said in the past live stream and other videos no one is going to come and do it for us no one is going to save us all right forget sitting on your ass and waiting for something or someone to fix all this it is not going to happen i don't care no one's coming okay your front door gets kicked down or whatever and you find the police guess what no one's going to come and help you've got to do it yourself now i believe that they're trying to make us feel that we've got no power, okay? Um, they're trying to make us skint. They're trying to make us broke. They're making everything expensive. They're making everyone having very little money, okay? Um, here's another one. I tried to move some money from my bank account, and it would only allow me 750 quid, a daily limit of 750 quid. It's my money. Shouldn't I be allowed to do what I want with my money? Shouldn't I be allowed? to send any amount of money to someone else because it belongs to me now they are telling me that you are only allowed to send money up to 750 pounds if you want to send more than that guess what you have to do you have to switch on face recognition i'm not making this up this isn't bullshit. this is absolute truth if you don't believe me go and have a look online some banks are saying if you want to send more in 750 pounds i have to use my face scan my face and then i'm going to be allowed to send my money to anyone i want to let me know if you think that is fair and just let me know if you think that feels like a drug dealer mentality so a drug dealer comes along gets you hooked on to drugs the prices are really cheap when you're hooked the prices go up he knows you're going to pay it anyway this is exactly what's going on with government and banking. They literally want you to dance to their tune. They want to try and make it that you've got no choice. But let me tell you this, as hard as it is, there is always a choice, okay? I prefer to go to the post office and use cash. I go to as many independent businesses as I possibly can and give them my cash. I'm literally walking the walk. I'm saying what I'm saying. It's no good saying all of this and then doing something different. We all need to be more genuine, okay? It's not about ego and look at me. It's about showing what your metal is, leading by example, doing the right thing, okay? Cash, to me, is just a private transaction. I earn my money, and what I decide to spend it on is up to me and no one else. And that transaction is private. It's no one's business. It's no one's business at all. Every time you use a contactless payment, or if you're really gone full retard, you use your phone, which can be hacked and all the rest of it. If you drop your phone, guess what? You've dropped all of your money. It's crazy where you lose it. Just use cash. It's plain and simple. It's easy. It's private. No one needs to know what you're buying. And if you're one of these lunatics who says i've got nothing to hide it doesn't bother me well if you're one of those guys please unsubscribe don't watch any more of my video because for you my friend it's already too late okay we are talking privacy we are talking freedom if you don't value that high jog on go somewhere else watch another video don't be a penis in the chat bye bye it's as simple as that because now is the time where we need to start saying no hence the title of this video because the changes in society which do look like they are almost irreversible if we don't start standing up for ourselves growing a pair and start saying no guess what yeah the freedom that you used to remember is going to be disappearing like an ice cube in a hot cup of tea pure and simple 578 people here thank you for sharing this video it really helps so yeah what are we talking about we need to grow a pair it's all well and good love and light and jesus this and all the rest of it but when it comes down to it what are you going to do you need to make hard decisions we all do every one of us 
It doesn't matter if you're skin, disabled benefits, if you're a billionaire. We all need to make harsh decisions in life. Some of us get more hard choices than others. At some point, it's going to balance out and they're going to be given a nice big plate of shit to deal with. It's just how it is. It's just how it is. And that ain't going to change. We're talking real talk. We're not fanning it up with fluffy sugar all over it. This is real, okay? I don't have a team of researchers. I don't have multi-thousands of pounds worth of recording equipment. I'm just me talking in front of a camera, leading by example, doing what I'm feeling is the right thing. Because the society that we would like to live in, the only way we're going to get that is we need to earn it. We need to work for it. No one's going to come along and go, there you go, I've saved it all for you. Forget about Donald Trump, forget about Jesus coming and all the rest of it. We are living in these times right here, right now. Nothing is going to change unless we do. They want us to think that we are individuals, we are weak, we are powerless. But let me tell you this, my friend, let me tell you this. When we start coming together and start saying no, there is nothing they can do. The game is over for them. It's not that far away because more and more people are waking up to the bullshit. The more and more people are waking up to the notion that we are all struggling here. We all are struggling financially, mentally, etc. And that volume button of fear, they are just turning it up all of the time. What else are they going to trigger you with? Oh, let's tell everyone that all these migrants are coming over and they're going to rape all of our daughters and women. Let me just scare the hell out of you. They're doing it all of the time. We need to go, do you know what? Whoa, right, okay, what can I do? It doesn't matter if you feel that you're the only one that you know who's going to make a difference. Be that guy and do something. And it's weird because when other people see someone standing up for the right thing, guess what happens? Others get inspired, they pick up on the energy and they join in and they help. We have seen this so many times. There is endless amounts of videos of someone getting into trouble and members of the public just rush over to help. We see it a lot, okay? As individuals, we need to start growing a pair and we need to start saying no right now. Because let me tell you this, if we don't, everything is going to change and it's going to be so hard to try and go back to pre-2020 times. We need to start doing something. So what can we do? Now, most of us um, are aware that 2020, um, everything happened. Um, a friend of mine looked into this and he believes the first seal of the book of Revelation was opened in 2020 when the issue happened, okay? Now, what did that do? That was a fundamental um, training program designed to split society in two. And it was a very successful um, campaign. It worked like a charm. What have we got now? We have got um, couples that have split up. We have got families that have broken up. We have got work colleagues that are at loggerheads with each other. We've got members of the public arguing because you, you should be wearing a mask. No, I shouldn't. It's literally split people in half. You've got one half of those who believe whatever the freaking hell the news and the government and doctors tell them is absolute truth. And everything else, you're a right wing, bloody evil conspiracy theorist, Donald Trump loving lunatic. Well, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? But to be fair, that's how the mainstream is portraying it. It's totally biased. It's total bullshit. Anyone with an ounce of intelligence can see right through this and go, whoa, really? There's probably people right here, right now in the chat who had this done in 2020 and 2021. Lots of those people, believe it or not, have woke up to how corrupt it all is and how evil and planned and twisted it is, and they won't take part anymore. They are not complying anymore. Okay, so please go easy on anyone who's in the chat or in the comment section who has had that, okay? Because let me tell you this, all of us at some point was asleep, okay? You can't run around being Billy Big Bollocks and telling everyone how asleep you all are. Wow, guess what? I was asleep once, so was you, okay? Don't be so hard. We just have to just let them be. 
So when it comes up to all these rules and regulations and all of these shops and businesses who are following the agenda, people need to start saying no. Start saying no if it feels wrong. Something doesn't feel right. It's out of order. It's unfair. It's unjust. Just say no. No way. It's as simple as that. It's a very, very small two letter word, which is bigger than anything you can understand. It's huge. Just no. It's as simple as that. What about all of the bullshit rules and regulations that happened in 2020? Okay. You've got to stand two meters behind someone. You've got to wear a mask. All of the shops had to have plastic screens. A plastic screen. You've got to be a lunatic to believe that that plastic screen is going to stop the spread of the most deadliest virus since the Great Plague. Are you frigging kidding me? Are you retarded? Are you a lunatic? Do you deserve to be sectioned? I mean, really? You've got a plastic perspex screen and there's about a four foot gap above it where the ceiling is. And if you sneeze, you think it's going to stop there. It's not going to spray and go over the top and get them. It's crazy. I remember, I'm not joking, driving in the car. And when I looked over in the traffic jam, there's this guy in a car with a face mask, a visor, all his windows done up, and he's on his own in the car. That, my friend, is what happens when you allow yourself to be fear controlled. Okay? You need to start growing your own pair and look at what's going on. It's crazy. It really is crazy. Most of us know this, okay? But because of this community, let me just check, um, of how crazy this community is growing, it's unbelievable. There's so many people here who generally want to help people. I'm not joking. This is growing crazy. We've nearly got a 1,000 people here already, and it's only been a quarter of an hour. This stuff, all I do now is I just write notes down and I just run with it, okay? I haven't got a professional studio. I haven't got an auto prompter. I haven't got none of that. This is raw, unedited, speaking the frigging truth. And I believe this is the stuff that we need to start supporting more than this AI crap, this artificial intelligence, automatically generated bullshit. It's artificial. It's not real. So... All the time we are feeding this AI stuff, we are going to be saying, you know what? I miss genuine stuff. I don't want to see highly polished professional freaking news bulletins. I just want to see some guy or some girl saying it how it freaking is. Because all of us, we are not being fairly represented. Why? Because the terms and conditions of these big tech platforms say, no, 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 no. So... That's quite funny, actually, because the next point I'm going to get to is political correctness. Now, who knows what I'm talking about? (laughs) I'm not joking. It boils my piss. It really, really does. Um, So here we have it. Right. This is what um, when you type into Google here, political correctness. All right. See that's um, highlighted in blue on the screen. A neutral perspective reference to the principle of avoiding utterances and actions that can marginalize or offend certain groups of people. Yes, because we don't want anyone being offended, do we? No, 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 no. That's one of the reasons why we see arguments in religion. My God's better than your God. My God's right and your God's wrong really have we allowed ourselves to be so split and divided that we fall for that stuff unfortunately some people do i think we need to just do our own thing without following any rules because what happens when we follow rules we lose our freedoms that's what's been going on since 2020 how many people were following for rules for guidance trusting the science how many companies done exactly what the government told them to do and they are all gone bankrupt and bust. How many? Loads. And they're never going to come back. They're never going to be able to recover from it. But let me tell you this. There were some businesses that carried on trading despite all of the threats that police were turning up daily, issuing £20,000 fines because they were disobeying the rules. 
these companies are still trading these companies are doing great why because people were waking up to the bullshit and they were supporting them and they continue to support them that's what we need we need people to start saying no do not comply if it feels wrong it feels out of order grow a pair and say no screw you i'm not having it i could tell you so many stories of what happened to me since 2020 i am not and i'm not going to either i am not going to change i'm going to stick to my guns and that is no if it feels wrong screw you not doing it if you don't like it tough if you've been offended sorry it's not my problem in fact when you get offended nothing actually happens you don't you don't have pain it doesn't hurt it's just just remember when we was back at school and someone called us a name and it made us cry that's okay if you're a child because your brain is still developing if you're an adult and someone calls you a name and you get offended have a look at yourself don't whatever it's just the sound it's just the word fine someone's obviously struggling with their ego and they're projecting out and it makes them feel better in some weird perverse way don't get offended just let it go <laughs> well it's too short and all it's going to do is it's going to get you really amazingly bright powerful energetic light and they are going to turn it down for you so are you going to allow that person to do that to you are you going to get yourself triggered are you going to get rant and rage and go crazy or are you going to think step back and just go no whatever mate next so yes political correctness what about the other things oh my god if i can find it this is um an example um of what's been going on here in wales where i live 20 mile an hour signs look they are being changed people are saying no no we are not having it nope sorry all of this which they are trying to do is complete bs and people are doing something people are venting their discord and saying no we're not having it it's all over the place the amount of signs that i've seen in wales that have been cut down sprayed over removed altogether it's crazy and it's growing it's actually growing and you know what i've actually seen someone spraying it in broad daylight because people are having enough do you know how difficult it is to drive your vehicle 20 miles an hour for a sustained period of time if you put it in third gear you can grow and it's not good for the cogs and the gears and the everything that's going on in your engine it's not good if you put it into second gear you need to much high much higher revs it's not good for your engine it's an absolute retarded thing and i'll tell you what since the time that they've rolled out this 20 mile an hour bullshit across wales how many lives have been saved i'll bet you any money if you look at the statistics over the last three years and since they've been doing it there's been zero difference i'll tell you what it is doing now it's making people extremely pissed off that they have to drive for so slow so long and it's not going to make a single shred of bloody difference it's not listen don't get me wrong i can understand it if these zones are put in place right outside the school gates that's a sensible idea of course but when you're talking a village that's four miles long with only one small pavement which you never ever see anyone walk on why would you want to do 20 miles an hour it's supposed to stop save children from getting injured when you never see anyone never alone kids on the pavements in the first place you know what it is it's all climate change and the faster we go the more damaging it is for the environment we said it before on this channel the united kingdom contributes one percent of the global greenhouse gases if we are running at full tilt full retard mode burning everything going crazy all at the same time so even if we did do that which we're not going to it's not going to make a shred of friggin difference to the planet it's all bs it's complete bs i know that you know that lots of people don't know that so it's down to us to try and educate them or bring it into conversation to try and make them think that's what we need to do we need to encourage people to actually think because what's happening is too many people are saying yes that's the problem 
that's the problem. It's too difficult or it's too hard. They feel embarrassed or they might lose their job if they say no. It's crazy. So the bottom line of 20 mile an hour stuff, at least, it's all about control. They've put it out there and all they're doing is they're gathering data. How many people are going to comply? How many people are going to do as they're told? That's all it is. The toss pot who brought it out is just resigned. So he's left a legacy of a lot of angry and upset people and all of his thousands of hundreds of thousands of pounds spent on his 20 mile an hour signs, which I've actually seen people spray over. And one case I saw someone on a step ladder unscrewing them. It's happening. People have had enough. People are not compliant to that BS anymore. That's just a 20 mile an hour sign. What about who remembers back in the day when they put a tax on sugar? Like I say, the government is basically the mafia. That's the easiest way that I can describe it in layman's terms to the masses out there. The government is the mafia. They are an illegal gang. They've got there and are taking the piss. Big time. So let's get everyone addicted to sugar. Who remembers the introduction of all of the sugary sweets and stuff since the 70s? And it's just got more and more and more. So we've had generations of people absolutely addicted to sugar. So when they felt enough people was addicted to sugar, guess what our lovely government, sorry, the mafia done? They put a tax on sugar. Ha <laughs> ha! It's exactly what a drug dealer would do. Move into an area, offer loads of low cost drugs. Everyone gets addicted. The prices go up. They're addicted. They're going to find the money from somewhere. Crime goes up, etc. So, yeah, if you don't know, if you're in the US or outside of the UK, our government has put a tax on sugar. And sugar goes in everything. Yeah. What about fizzy drinks? All of this zero sugar, this caffeine free, this diet stuff. The sugar has been taken out and it's been replaced with really bad toxic chemicals which absolutely do you no good whatsoever. And above all, it tastes like shit. It tastes like crap. I, If I want a fizzy drink which is once in a blue moon, I want full sugar. I want full fat. I want full salt. I want full cream. You know why? Because it's my choice. I'm an adult. I am allowed to make those choices for myself. How dare some nanny state government bunch of mafiosos say, oh, we really care about you. We don't want you getting ill. So we are going to take sugar out of all of the drinks. Hold on a minute. I'm an adult. If I want sugar or a can of Coke with real sugar in it, that's what I want. No, 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 no. We do zero sugar now. It's better for you. I don't give a toss. I like the taste of the original Coke, actually. So... It's my choice that it should be available. The choices are diminishing. It's all about control. It's all about acquiescence. It's all about how much we comply. Because all of the times that we don't lobby MPs, we don't do protests, we don't do physical things that we feel we need to do to make change, all the time that doesn't happen, they're going, bloody hell, look, the British people, they're a bunch of pussies. We're just going to roll this out. They're going to shout a moan for a few days and then we'll bring someone else out. Look at what's going on in France. If they change a rule or a law which is going to upset um, a little amount of people or a small amount, the whole freaking country gets beside them and goes full freaking retard at the government. And what do we do in the UK? We just rant and rage and moan about it. Do you actually do anything to change things? Lots of us, like myself included, do things behind the scenes to encourage change. We talk to people. We educate people. We help people. We get involved. I've been on protests and marches. I've been there. I've walked the walk. I know some of you have too. Nothing's going to change unless we all do something. All the time we're sitting there doing jack squat, nothing's going to change. And all of these changes and levels and the amounts of change are going to get more and more and more. And it's going to piss off more and more and more people because we're just saying yes to everything. Crazy. But here's another thing. If you, This is for you guys outside the UK, if you didn't know. You're not going to believe this, but in the UK, we have a snack called a pasty. 
it's basically pastry savory flavored pastry with meat in there and stuff like that okay so again it was a very popular snack for decades here in the uk again they got everyone addicted and they introduced the pasty tax a tax on bloody pasties to keep if you want a hot pasty you've got to pay all this extra money all this tax it's unbelievable at the rate of piss takingness our mafia government are doing and one of the main ingredients to bring to fruition a revolution is taking the piss of taxes and what are we seeing in the uk we have been taking the piss out of for so long far too long and they are continuing to bring out all of these new draconian ridiculous greedily unfair taxes to take even more money from us all they are doing is they are poking the hornet's nest they are one day the majority of people in the uk are going to have enough and everything is going to change and they are going to really regret bringing out all these draconian taxes and all these laws because they don't realize this movement behind the scenes and underground in the uk is growing at such an alarming rate it's quite frightening it really is it's astonishing actually the amount of people when you go out there and you talk to people you won't believe it if i don't believe it just go and talk to some strangers get some feedback You'd be surprised how many people are awake out there, right? I'm not joking. It's crazy. Another thing which I do in which I disagree with is car parking fees. So you drive a car, okay? So incidentally, they want to um, abolish private vehicle ownership by 2030. Six years. Six years. They believe that no one um, are going to be allowed to drive private vehicles we're all going to have to get public transport or at best car share or walk or push bike that's what they absolutely want and they keep changing i don't know what it is in the moment but no it's bloody crazy um so i just check in everything's all right well we've got nearly a thousand people thank you for sharing the video by the way you guys it really really helps yes car parking fees now listen i don't mind taking my vehicle which i've paid road tax on which i've paid insurance ha, we're going to talk about car insurance in the sec too whoa so yes i've paid car tax i've paid my car insurance i've brought my car which i'll pay tax on um i pay for the fuel to run it which has tax in it a lot of tax actually and then once i've done all of that I just find somewhere to park it where I can go and do my business and I have to pay just to park a car. Now, in some cases, I understand that if I park it in a big secure car park, which is floodlit and there's cameras and security, I don't mind paying to put my vehicle there. That's fine. What I disagree with is pulling up on a public road. And if I leave my car there for more than one hour, I have to pay a fine. A parking ticket or you have to pay and display just to park on the road and that is seemingly as close as we can get to our physical high streets our town centers where all the shops are so when our high street shops are pleading for our business to come and help them especially since the issue in 2020 they are making it more and more harder they are discouraging from people to drive to the city center to park for free and support local independent businesses. No, they don't want people to go to town centers. They don't want people parking. They don't want people going to the shops. The shops don't sell anything and they go out of business. That's exactly what they want. All we're gonna get one of these days is one or two shops. All the rest of them will be gone. So we are talking an attack on choice. We deserve and we need, we need choice. We need to go out there and have loads of things to choose from. There's loads of people that want to start businesses and sell things and do something different. And we need to support them with cash. They are making it so frigging hard on purpose. Do you know what I was talking about? I remember when I was parking my car and I was in the queue to put um, um, a parking ticket, a pay and display thing on mine. So it wasn't a car park which had cameras and lights. So I don't mind. The guy next to me, 
Do you know what he's saying? He's saying he can't believe the prices of what's going on with parking the car these days. And he told me he saw someone in Swansea putting super glue over all of the contactless payment bits on the parking thing in the car park and where you put the coins in. So people would go there to go and pay and they weren't able to. So they didn't pay. So they all got to park for free and nothing happened. Imagine if that thing took off nationwide. People started to do something to the car parking meters because why the hell should we frigging pay? I believe we pay enough as it is. It's nuts. Um, do you know what? I was going to show you something. Where is it? Um, we could see this. Who remembers the ULES cameras where they absolutely just destroyed them? They cut them all down, broke them. All of these, all over, more than 300 cameras were totally destroyed all around London. Even the little mobile vans, they were vandalized and they were um, broken. So they couldn't report. People were cutting them down like this. I'm not joking. This is the United Kingdom. This is the truth. This is the reality of what was going on in London. People are not complying anymore. They have had it up to here. They are putting all sorts of things. Look, they're just cutting the whole things down. That's basically telling this tosspot here, the mayor of London, that, no, sorry, we're not playing that game. End of story. Vigilantes, they hit the vans so they won't work, and they were towing the vans away because they were absolutely destroyed. Spraying foam, cutting them. I'm honestly, I can just go on and on and on, showing lots and lots of broken cameras. So I have a feeling we might even start seeing people do the same to car parking meters because, again, it's another charge on people who haven't got much money. We're all struggling. We're all up against it. So they're bringing out all of these things, trying to get even more money to falsely spend it on 20 mile an hour signs, which cost a fortune. And all of these Judas cameras, it cost a fortune. And people go, no, sorry. Start saying no. Just what people are doing now. It's nuts. And you pay all of your road tax to drive your vehicle and look at the potholes in the road. Are they being repaired? How many of you in the chat right now drive their cars and they are sick and tired of these potholes everywhere? Crazy. I saw someone, where is it? I saw someone in the chat earlier said um, that they are going to stop paying the council tax. Wow. Have you thought about just stop paying the council tax? Do you think it's a good idea? I mean, to be honest, where I live, the only thing which, when I pay my council tax, the only thing which happens is they take my bins away every two weeks. We've got no street lights. We have got more potholes than you would ever imagine in your life. I've never seen one police officer out here. We're on our own out here in the sticks, yet we've got to pay a fortune in council tax. Why? Is it fair? Is it worth me paying nearly £200 a month to get my bins emptied twice a month? Yeah, two bin liners a month. So it's £100 I'm paying to get a bin liner for the rubbish taken away. Is that fair and just in today's society? No, I'm not joking. It's an absolute farce. Um, what's going on in the UK? I don't know what it's like in America. I have no idea. I really don't. So it'd be interesting if you guys, if you're watching from America, um, let us here in the UK know what's going on. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Um, this, all of this um, people conforming starts from school. And at the base um, medium, let me see. Who remembers the prefect at school. Yes, all of the good little boys who, who get all of these little badges to make them feel very, very important. And yes, yes, we are very, very good at kissing ass. That's what we got. That's what's going on. If you wear one of these badges, you're excellent at kissing ass. And if any of you are watching now that used to be a prefect, well, I'm just saying it from what I'm seeing, okay? Lots of people who have the mentality 
of spying on other people and grassing people up and telling tales, etc., all because they want the adulation and to feel important. Yes, I know. It starts from school. Who remembers the film 1984 by George Orwell? Who remembers in that film that children are taught to be spies, to spy on their own parents and their own community? And they would absolutely tell the authorities if anyone is breaking the rules. What a nightmare scenario that is. It's almost like they're doing it now. They don't need to recruit children. they got our phones. These phones are recording everything 24-7, whether you think your microphone's turned off or not. They are, okay? And the only way, if you want to stop all of that, is you need to seal it all up in the heavy-duty safe. Even if you turn it off, it's still got backup power in it. It can still record at low capacity. You won't believe the stuff that these phones can actually do, okay? It is bonkers. I remember reading... Um, I think this was last year. It was over 12 months ago now. I've done a video about the wood burners in the UK that the government planned to ban them. Yes, but don't believe me. Check it out. Who remembers the Clean Air Act? Okay. The DEFRA exempt wood burners. So you're looking at smoke control zones. Yeah. Believe it or not. Yes. I'm not joking. I am not joking. So we, what we're looking at is if you thought the prices of energy went through the roof in 2021, September time. Who remembers that? Yeah, I do. All of our energy prices went crazy. Lots of people said, right, that's it. Enough of this. I'm going to get a wood burner. And that's exactly what they did. But not a few, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people rushed out and got a wood burner and booked it in to get installed into their home. They're thinking, if I can get a wood burner, moreover a back boiler, so I can use the heat from that metal box, the wood burner, to boil the radiators and make the whole house warm and have hot water and heat the whole house. Lots of people have done that. Let me know in the chat or in the comment section if you've done that in 2021. It, the demand was so high the backlog was over about a year in some cases. People had to wait over a year to finally get their um, burner installed because demand was far outstripping supply. They just couldn't keep up. I know people who own stove shops down in Kent. I know people over in Cambridge that has two stove shops. And they told me the demand was insane. The phone was just going day after day. Um, have you got any wood burners? I need to get a wood burner. What ones have you got left? It was crazy. Um, sorry? Oh, thank you, darling. So you guys are getting wood burners banned in America too. They're trying to. Yeah, this is the thing. Thank you, darling. Um, yes, people are starting to say no. So even though they say you are not allowed to burn um wood fires in cities yeah i am not joking smoke controlled zones you have to get a permit they come around and they check um how dry your wood is it is so freaking controlled and draconian it's ridiculous what is wrong with having a house and burning wood and coal to keep warm nothing's wrong with that at all the problem is they are trying to convince us that carbon in the atmosphere is making all of these weather pattern changes. So they're thinking, if we remove all of the carbon, the weather will be fine. So if you remove carbon, guess what happens to the trees, wildlife? It all dies. It needs carbon to breathe. And when we breathe out, we breathe out carbon. So what are they planning to do? Depopulate the whole planet? Kill all of the trees? It's going to be great if you're one of these robots in the future, because you won't need to breathe oxygen. So it seems the more that we go down the digital road, the fake road, the worse it's going to be. The more we stay in analog land, the easier and simpler life is, the less stressful it is, the less problems, the easier it is. All of this technology and computers and digital stuff is so complicated and so ridiculously over the top. The problem is, is all of this technology relies on lots of other things to make it work. 
this is the problem with globalization in my opinion okay if we have one country and that country is totally self-sustaining it sustains everything from that country it doesn't need to import hardly anything from overseas you're not relying on other countries so if something happens to that country it doesn't affect this one it's cool that's how it should be what these idiots and they think they're intellectuals and they are far from intellectuals they are retarded in my opinion they are doing the opposite why heaven on earth why i live in wales and there's sheep everywhere why the hell do we have to get sheep from new zealand the other side of the world flown over here when we've got more than enough over here we've got more than enough lambs in this country to slaughter to freeze so when there's times that there's lambs not around there's loads of lambs in the freezers already we don't need to send them from new zealand we can grow apples in the uk the uk is probably one of the biggest places on the planet that does the most variety of apples and why would we get those sent over from peru from new zealand really we can grow blueberries over here and they taste amazing why are we send them from argentina it's ridiculous from chile and peru it doesn't make sense all this globalization we have to sort of be a global is freaking bullshit and ever since we've all gone down that road we are starting to see the entire system fall apart unreliable reliant on someone else that country's having problems so we're now having problems that's the problem all of it needs to be fixed remember what i said earlier about car insurance now did your car insurance go up over the last six months or 12 months let me know in the chat if your car insurance went crazy now apparently i've done some digging on this and they are saying because of um since 2020 there's a lot more cars on the road really just like that i smell a rat don't forget since 2020 multinational companies across the whole planet put their prices up just because they could and they blamed it on the issue nothing actually changed really they just thought wow we can make a shitload of money let's let all of us put the money up what are people going to do moan they're going to pay anyway yeah that's what's happened pretty much it's crazy so they are saying that climate change if they make everyone pay more car insurance the money that they take from that goes towards fighting climate change which they are creating with the technology which they are operating to make the weather as crap as possible for us who likes a nice blue skies and clouds who likes gray overcast clouds constantly drizzle windy rainy that's what they are doing it's not natural you've got to wake up really early in the morning to see these white lines sprayed in the sky and they grow into clouds and you're going to get an overclassed shitty day for the next day or two every single day in some cases it's crazy so the car insurance prices went up 58 percent do you know what the average price of an annual car insurance bill is in the uk it's five pounds short of one thousand pound for an average wow my car insurance used to be 280 pound fully comp for years it's crazy the prices are going up how much are you paying on your car insurance you don't have to tell us but let us know if it's gone up it's not just here in wales it's all over the uk um you guys in america i presume that you pay some sort of insurance to drive your vehicle so if you have an accident and hurt someone in your vehicle it's all covered by insurance well that's what we do in the uk it's absolute theft and there was talk i remember seeing in wales online i've done a video on this last year i think it's february last year that by 2028 they want to end private vehicle ownership here in wales there is no way on god's earth that the welsh are going to say okay i'm not going to be driving a car anymore because you say so it's not going to happen why because there's a lot of backbone in wales from what i've seen especially in the rural communities villages stick together everyone knows everyone this is the problem which has happened in england you can live in the street in england you won't know who your neighbors are you go to rural parts in wales everyone knows everyone everyone sticks together the amount of people that i saw on that farmers protest in cardiff the communities are unbelievable and i've met people who was on that protest since then we all stick together out here real communities that's what we want they've brought in all of these migrants they've upset all of this social cohesion 
across communities now in the UK on purpose by design. They don't want communities to thrive. They want them at loggerheads. And what's happening is you get certain groups of people living in certain zones in the cities, forcing people who have been living there for generations out because they just can't bear the level of change. So multicultural Britain is absolutely not working. It was a bullshit statement from the off. And it's got worse and it's going to continue to get worse with the amount of migration that is happening to the UK. And I know you guys in America are getting this shitstorm coming into yours of these migrants. We've got the same here. And don't forget it's all across Europe. It's crazy what's going on. So here we go. This one's quite good. We was talking about um um vehicles okay now where is it here yeah right so vehicles in the uk you know i said them um, it's all about choice we should all have choice they don't want us to have choice anymore they want all of us to drive electric cars look at this when will all new cars in the uk be electric dates for every brand from alpha to volvo okay this was the 5th of march okay so nearly a month ago now it's unbelievable. It's 44 different car manufacturers. Alfa Romeo, okay? They're going fully electric in 2027. Aston Martin, unconfirmed. Audi, 2033. Bentley, 2030. BMW, unconfirmed. Citroen, unconfirmed. Cupra, unconfirmed. <sighs> DS automobiles. I wonder what them weird things are. I thought it's a Nintendo DS. How silly. Look, this year, they're going fully electric, these little toy cars. What a joke. Ferrari. Oh, okay. How many of you have got a Ferrari? Ridiculous. Fiat 2030. So even Ford, by 2030, all of the cars that they are going to make, look at this. Honda, they're going 2040. Wow. So they're going to continue to make petrol vehicles well up to 2040. Good luck with that, with the pressure that they're going to get from the World Economic Forum, etc. So anyway, yeah, we can go on and on and on and on and on about that. But that seems to be the flavor of where this is going because people are complying. People are buying these hideous electric vehicles. Are you one? Do you think your electric vehicle is great? Have you got problems trying to find places to charge it? How long does it charge? Is it heavy? Have you had any problems with it? I don't like it myself. I smell a big rat. There is one company bucking the trend, and it's Merck. Mercedes. Yeah, look at this. I think somewhere where it said they are going to continue um, to make petrol cars. The only ones. Everyone's going over to EV. But no. They are delaying its target for electric cars to make up half sales by five years to 2030. So they are one of the only ones who are seeing what's going on. They've done a U-turn. They've stopped electric production. They're just going to make petrol cars. Why? Because they know that people want petrol cars. They don't really want electric cars. Why? Because electric cars are crap. Have you heard the reports of some electric cars being hacked and just stopped? Or made them sped up or drive them. Yeah, I'm not joking you. This isn't science fiction. Look into it yourself. It's quite hard to find though, because we all know that Google loves to censor things. Just telling you. If you've got an electric car, be careful. Be very, very careful. So, remember earlier on when I was talking about um, 2020, how it split everything? Okay, you had people for the issue and against it. Okay, so what has that done between 2020 and now? We have seen families broken up. We've seen people at work leaving work and working somewhere else. Friends as well, lifelong friends. They fundamentally disagree politically, no longer friends. It happens. So off the back of all that, what do you think runs alongside all of that? Depression. Here's a fact for you. Now, I want you to listen to what I'm going to say because I found it hard to take in. Listen to this. Between 2022 and 2023, so 12 months, one year, 
okay doctors issued 86 million antidepressant tablets 86 million that's more than the entire population of the uk unbelievable 8.6 million people were issued antidepressants wow 8.6 million people are now more depressed than what they were before and they are probably hooked on some of these antidepressant drugs it's an absolute travesty you're looking at a real easy definition of problem reaction solution they create a problem the bullshit 2020 issue that was a problem which they created entirely they expected a reaction wow the reaction is let's split the whole country in half those who believe it's real and those who believe it's bs and the solution we've already got them ready in boxes there you go some tablets to make you feel better really yeah 86 million of them was issued in 12 years in one month one um year sorry yeah let that sink in 8.6 million people in 12 months were given antidepressants so you are not alone with all of this going on it's affecting more people than we realize the mental health behind all of this is vast absolutely an alarming number you just can't comprehend how large it is well we got nearly 1100 people in chat that's pretty cool um i was speaking to someone yesterday slaughterhouses they are closing all over the uk did you know about this yeah they don't really want us eating meat in the future because the cows are farting and they're making it rain too much they absolutely want us to believe that it's obviously bullshit of course it is but no they don't want us eating meat it's bad for the environment by 2050 they don't want anyone on the planet eating meat but let me tell you this it's guys like this will still be eating meat absolutely of course along with his friends they're going to be eating the finest steak money can buy and they want us eating crickets and mealworms and bugs and things hmm well it's already proven that they are a no-go for the human digestive system yeah they are investing billions into this tech to provide us with mealworm burgers and all of this crap if you think i'm making this up i'm not even aldi are already stocking items in their shops right now with cricket flour in some of their baked products i'm not joking go and have a look it will blame my i've done a video on it about a year a year ago and the problem is because i've been shadow banned and not many people are getting to see my videos i'm telling people like maybe yourself now you're hearing it for the first time i've been banging on about this for a year and you've only just heard about it i am not making this up go back from my videos and you'll see speak to some of the guys in the chat the veterans i've got in it they will tell you yeah i did i'm not joking i'm not making this up it's crazy and i said to him well what about this um halal meat okay now the reason why halal is practiced is because it comes from warmer countries and they basically need to do it really quick okay they haven't got access to refrigerators that we have over here we like to feel that we're somewhat more humane by stunning the animal so they don't feel anything they're completely out and then the process starts they don't get an animal it's still alive cut its throat and just leave it to wriggle around and bleed everywhere that's barbaric in my book and um, that is hundreds of years where we used to be not now i believe we should be a more civilized society and there's much more um kinder ways to the animal to do these things rather than do that that's my own opinion okay i love and i enjoy meat i respect meat and i respect the animal that's provided that if you ever got me fine listen i went vegan for three years i researched it i know what it's like now i'm a meat eater i've seen it from both sides i've got a well-balanced opinion on this and when i see lots of meat products in the shops with that little halal sign what does that tell you there's more and more muslim people living here in the uk than there has ever been in human history and that number is going to rise and rise and rise they do not need to do that halal stuff over here why because we've got fridges it's barbaric yet 
we allow them to come over here and do these things. What would happen if we went to their countries and we'd done the things that we do over here? They wouldn't let us do it at all. Yeah, over here, the UK, the land of the freaking soft pussy boy, allows all of this to come over here just to wind us up. And it's working like a charm. It's absolutely working like a charm. But most of the guys who are doing this in the slaughterhouses are by Muslims themselves. Lots of people who worked in the slaughterhouses for years have left because they refuse to dispatch an animal halal style. It's happening. Slaughterhouses are closing big time. I might even do a video on it because I don't think many people are aware of this. But it's true. The amount of slaughterhouses that used to be in this country 20 years ago, look how many are there now. Yeah. About 80% of them have gone. I'm not making this shit up. It's quite frightening. If you like heating meat, my advice is to find somewhere where you can freeze dry it, store it, and literally just add water and turn it into real meat again. That will keep for 30 years. You think how much meat's going to cost in 30 years' time if you can get it. Whereas if you buy it now, it's going to be the best meat you've had in years in the future, and it's going to cost cheap stuff okay or loads of people they're getting like chest freezers and they're putting beef and chicken in there and they're like vacuum sealing it so you don't get freezer burn it lasts for years in the freezer because meat is going to get more expensive okay um they're already doing something to the chickens if you've if you brought um one of those three or four pound chickens from the supermarket lately and you cook it the amount of crap that comes out of it it's it should be illegal to be fair and how many times do you get an upset stomach after eating it some the meat in the uk is not what it used to be it really is not you've got to go far and wide to get organic grass-fed meat all of this stuff in supermarkets is literally not doing you any favors let me just put it mildly okay like i said cultural changes okay i've um i've actually been to this country i've been to the islamic republic of iran i worked there as a contractor during the Iraq war. I'm not saying anything else on it, but let me show you what Iran used to look like in the 70s. You'd be surprised. This is Iran. In it. Look, you go into Google, type in Iran 70s, go into images. It's simple for you guys to check it out yourself and just have a look. Wow. Where's all of the burkas? Where is all of the decay and all of the slums and the arguing and the fighting? Look at it. It is just a whole new world. Okay. Now, look at this. Google images Iran now. Look at it now. Look at the frigging difference of it now. It's unbelievable. The amount of unrest, discord, do this or else it's crazy it is not nice and let me tell you this right only people who have been to iran will understand this if you've never been you are never going to understand this fully from my time there the people that i met the people that i worked with were one of the kindest most genuine people that i've ever had the privilege to meet i am not joking I've had people offering to give me free stuff, come into their home, um, take me out for a meal to spend the whole month's wages just to give me a meal to say thank you. And they're going to be eating like bread for a whole month because they can't afford it. The generosity is amazing. They will literally stop whatever they're doing and run to help anyone. Real good, kind, genuine people in Iran where I worked. Okay, You're not going to understand that until you go there. All you are being brainwashed into believe, believing is, Everyone in Iran are terrorists. They're all like backward and all the rest. It's not the case. They are so warm, genuine, kind, loving, friendly, really good people that I've met out there. It's insane. It's absolutely unbelievable. So that is the difference between the 70s and what it is now. But look at what we've got now. All of this, 2020s, the UK trans pride lot. All of these, look at this, protect trans kids. Yeah, I'm not being funny, Mr. or Mrs. or whatever you are. 
stay away from our kids pure and simple it's just bizarre and i really think it's a bad thing to have our kids pushed into this hideous nightmare it is an absolute hideous nightmare and look they have got full support of the police look isn't it lovely yeah brilliant well done well done you yes men the men who like to say yes the men who haven't got their own voice it's unbelievable there we go there's some more yes men the people who like to say yes oh look we're bringing some guns with the yes people thank you yes people thank you for helping us we really are proud that you guys are representing us in such a beautiful way it's crazy like i said what happens when you interact with these people some at some point someone is going to get offended like i said what actually happens here we go check this out offended okay this is in the cambridge dictionary look at this upset and angry often because someone has been rude wow rude are you kidding me yeah upset and angry often because someone has been rude so if you are rude to someone they're automatically going to be offended according to the dictionary term of that really wow offended and there's so many people who just don't want to physically do something and one of the main reasons stopping lots of people is i don't want to be arrested i don't want a fine i don't want to go to prison i don't want to lose my job so them things are more important than our futures and our children's and our grandfathers sorry our grandkids futures okay but look so if you did end up going to court in the uk because you violated something okay i just want you to be aware of this statistic it may shock you look at this case backlog in the magistrates courts so we're looking between 2012 q2 so that's the second quarter of the year to q2 2023 look at this the backlog has declined but is now stable around 340,000 cases 340,000 cases 340 cases behind there is a backlog how long is it going to take for your case to be heard should you do something who would have thought that i know i'm not making this up i'm absolutely not making this up oh wow well, we've got some um super chats here thank you i'm going to read them out now because i can see these um jess thank you for that cash is king hello darren and family here hi thank you for that yes cash is king like i said before cash is the only way to ensure a private transaction unless you barter you trade items for items no one knows it's no one's business it's two people exchanging things so what they want to do is bring in central bank digital currency where they put themselves as a middleman to block that transaction if you have done something which they are not happy with you've gone against terms and conditions on social media um, platforms perhaps um your doctor says that you are unhealthy because you know your your size and your heart condition so the doctor says um we advise mr or mrs someone so not to eat beef anymore and you think hold on it's my choice if i don't eat beef i'm gonna go and get it so you go and buy some beef and you use the card central bank digital currency will block that transaction on health and safety grounds oh uh, we don't want this person getting ill so we block that transaction you're not allowed to buy that beef because we want you to be safe well guess what screw that nearly made me swear then so yes cash is king well said jess and oh thank you david again good to see you mate i hope you're well um thank you for keeping us on the other side of the pond informed 
or things over there yeah absolutely dave and um you know i'm getting to know lots of what's going on in america um but there's not many people saying how it is in the uk there's myself neil mccoy ward there's um i forget his name the bold explorer etc not many so yeah we are literally pioneering things we're trying to give people the truth of what's going on because as we know all of the stuff that is in the newspapers is all bias it's all bs and this does look like we are in a nanny state the government wants us to be um secure they want us to be safe and they want us to be healthy yeah if they want us to be healthy then why is it that we go to hospitals and we see um vending machines fill up with junk food there's a clue there isn't there hmm cost of coffee in a hospital so you go to hospital you have an ecg done in your heart and they say your um, heart rate is quite high um go down to the waiting room um, we'll be back in an hour and we're going to talk about this further oh god i'm stressed out i'm gonna have a coffee yeah you go into costume and you get a high caffeine drink which is exactly what you shouldn't do after having a heart checked over this shouldn't even be available in a freaking hospital it should be healthy things in hospital water fruit stuff that does you good not stuff that does you bad because one of the reasons why you've probably ended up in a hospital is because you're feeding your machine with bad stuff and you got ill it's like a cycle of doom it's crazy um thank you to donald for gifting a membership um and thank you full of hope as well that's very very kind you guys are awesome appreciate that um i think what happens is you have to um enable to receive gifts you can watch a video on how to do that on youtube and i think it's youtube who decides who to send these memberships to i don't think you can actually um pick them up or collect them yourself no i don't really know um thank you carl as ever over on paypal for donating that's awesome dude appreciate that um so yes um friday's live stream tomorrow is going to be rather epic tell your friends because if you don't get notified please try and remember 8 p.m friday that's tomorrow 8 p.m uk time if you're overseas work out the time difference and try and make it in the live chat it's going to be mega tomorrow and i would like to say thank you to everyone who's hit the thumbs up it really helps get this out there and um, if you're going to shoot off if you can hit the thumbs up anyway i really appreciate it and if you can um share this video too now i know lots of people share my videos it's one of the only reasons or one of the reasons why this channel is still going one is the donations they help like you wouldn't believe and two is to share the video to make them get out there because of the nature of the things that i talk about on this youtube channel trust me youtube's terms and conditions and google do not want me being known they are trying to silence me okay most of us who have decided to do this neil mccoy ward he's mainly based in finance he feels strongly about this so he's talking out about this jeff buys cars jeff buys cars is a bloody car salesman what the hell is he talking about this stuff why because he feels the urge to do so we are all being silenced okay richard phobes he's already been banned twice i helped him out and i got him on the live stream of mine whilst he was in a ban because i always find a way around things and i believe lots of us do as well so yes they are trying to silence us so you guys who share these videos absolutely help them get out there to reach the target audience that this sort of content deserves we need more people out there to start saying no do not comply don't because if we carry on saying yes and we comply the situation we're living in right now is going to get a whole lot worse this hasn't even really started yet this shit is going to get angry it's going to get really bad we haven't seen nothing yet we need to start saying no and now there's no time like the present so you guys sharing this i really appreciate it i'm not joking um, i'm not on facebook so i can't share on there i know some of you are on facebook groups and put the link and share it in there 
that's cool that's really cool that people watch it on the replay um and also i think it was whatsapp wow do you know what i didn't know there was whatsapp groups i'm not really on there so that gets shared and even on telegram and it's called x now used to be twitter so you guys who share all of this i really appreciate it big time and all of you have taken part in the chat you guys are awesome and of course the members who are joining and indeed you kind folk who are gifting members memberships onto others i really appreciate your support because without your support this is a hard job i'm not joking the advertising money that i get because i'm talking about this diddly squat you won't believe how crap it is but it's a fact and the moderators all of the guys and girls in blue with the spanners you rock as always right don't forget tomorrow 8 p.m uk time don't miss it it's gonna be epic you guys take care thanks for watching stay funky <laughs>